more of the Okay. This is my teacher called Amber Johnson from Marshall High School. She taught me 2013 for fashion design. And now I'm interviewing her because she's an old student of THU. THU, the Great Tigers. Her. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ms. Johnson, where were you born and where are you from? I was born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I'm not gonna tell you where I was born, but just know that I'm from there. I moved here in 1986 with my mom, and she had a job opportunity here. She was a, a crew oil coordinator for Kermagee, and she had transitions to take place. I went to Anderson Elementary, I went to Fonder Middle School, and then I went to Westbury High School, home of the Rebels, and I graduated from there in 98. Okay, so you have been to black school before and you are still teaching in black school, like Marshall High School. So how is your experience when you first moved, when you first got to TSU? I love TSU. Go Tigers! Anyway, <laughs> I lived on campus at Texas Southern University. It was one of the best experiences that, I ha that I've had, that I had. It was the first time being away from home, even though I lived in the city of Houston. But I got to meet people from all walks of life, from different parts of this, from different parts of the, the world. And so with me being exposed to that, I learned to appreciate people from different places. I've had college professors who may not have been from the United States, but they were teaching classes. I had to learn to uh, work with people who may have had a different dialect from me, but I came to appreciate it too, because after learning from them, I had a better understanding and was able to understand everything that they, that they spoke. Uh, one of the highlight points for me when I was at Texas Southern was that I had a mentor named Dr. Maxine Hammond-Smith who was over in the Human Services and Consumer Sciences Department and she was very influential in me becoming a teacher right now. She told me when she met me, you're going to be a teacher. I said, I ain't going to be no teacher. She said, yes, you are, and you're going to like it. And so I ran from that particular career track. I was trying to go into counseling. I was trying to go into business. I was going to go into nursing. And then it finally hit me that I was actually going to be a teacher. So when I graduated in 2002 with my bachelor's degree, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was working for Planned Parenthood in the education department, which I didn't really realize I was still teaching. Uh, I left Planned Parenthood and started working on my master's degree and I just started applying for random jobs and one of the jobs came up for family and consumer sciences because of course it still uh, relates to human services and consumer sciences and I applied for the job and Mr. Dan Martinez called me in for an interview. So of course I go in for the interview and he says, "Miss Johnson, you have the job. I'm like, wow. So, of course, I had to go back to Dr. Maxine Hammond-Smith and eat crow. She said, I told you, I told you. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. You need to go here, here, and here. You need to fill out this and you need to do this. I knew you were gonna be a teacher. That woman was so phenomenal and she knew the people that was on the campus. When my experience, going back to my freshman year, I did live in the dorm. You lived in the dorm? Mm -hmm, in your I lived in the dorm. <laughs> and I had people that were there that sold in to me. Uh, this lady, her name was, I called her Bunny, but she came to my room to borrow stuff. <laughs> and she sat down and she talked with my roommate and me about who, what classes to take and what classes not to take. She asked us what our majors were and all this other stuff. But there was this one woman named Kanika Bazell White, who ended up being Miss Texas Southern University and who is now my sorority sister. She took my roommate and me under her wings because we got locked out of our room one night. And she just gave us a whole run through on, you know, what to do on the campus, what not to do on the campus, who you need to be in contact with and all that stuff. So I had a really good experience. I did graduate in four years. I did another four years because I was working on my teacher certification and getting my master's degree. But it was worth it. I love my HBCUs. So how was your growing up? You're, you're growing up in Texas and you're going to black school and the importance of HBC. Like, What's the important? I, I appreciate it. Well, you ready? Okay. So the importance of HBC. I had all my people that I was in high school with, they told me they were going to go to uh, Southern, they were going to Grambling, you know, they were getting out of the state of Texas. And I was like, well, I already know I'm going. I'm going to a historically black college. And it's like, why are you going there? Texas Southern University? I said, why not? Education is the same. You know, it doesn't matter 
what university it's at, I'm still being taught the exact same thing. It's just the key, the key thing with Texas Southern is that you get one-on-one -on -one interaction when you need it. I had professors like Dr. Ginn, uh, Dr. What's her name? Dr. Wool, Woolworth, Dr. Kilgore, uh, Kilgore Kimball, uh, Dr. Barnett. I had a lot of great professors that were there, but if I needed anything, I could go to them. I didn't have to go to an aide or a stand-in person that was helping the professor. I actually had one-on-one -on -one interaction, and the class sizes were the appropriate size. And I'm proud to say that my little sister graduated from Texas Southern University in the business department with her accounting degree. So great things come from Texas Southern University. And my favorite quote, all roads lead to Texas Southern. So you may go to Prairie View, you may go to Langston, you may even go to Louisiana to go to school, but when you see that you can't cut it there, everybody always comes back to Texas Southern Sunny University. University. Home of the fighting tigers. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Dunsey. I really appreciate you. Thank you. I hope you get an A on this I assignment. Will. And send me the link. I will. Send me the link. I will, Ms. Dunsey. <laughs> Thank you.